everybody and welcome back to another video on Cobbler's Vlogs where today I'm holding yet another piece of paper in my hands. Today I'm going to be reacting to the League One table predictions I made right at the start of the season. I said who I thought was going to finish first, second, right the way through to 24th and let's see where the teams actually finish. There are some absolute stinkers in here uh, so make sure you follow along and see how I did in my League One predictions. Okay, so starting at the bottom of the table, who did I predict to get relegated this season? In 24th, I had Rochdale. Uh, I got it right in terms of the fact that they did get relegated this year. They did finish three places higher. They didn't finish bottom. Uh, they finished top of the relegation zone instead. Uh, Rochdale finished 21st. I predicted them 24th, so they gained three positions on where I thought they would predict them, but I'm taking that as a win. I thought Rochdale would get relegated. They have been relegated. I might have got the position wrong, but I got their fate right, so I'm taking that as, as a bit of a win. Uh, the next one is a slightly, you could probably say it was understandable, at the start of the season. In 23rd, I predicted Shrewsbury Town. Uh, they finished six places higher uh, in 17th, which is not bad. Um, they obviously had a really, really bad start to the season. If you remember, they lost to the Cobblers by two goals to one on the second day of the season. So that's how bad their start was. Uh, and they were really struggling at the start. They got Steve Cottrell in. He, he managed to kind of galvanise them before, before he became ill. Um, really got that group playing the right way and, and got them out of relegation trouble kind of by mid-season. Um, and they finished 17th. Uh, the next one, AFC Wimbledon again. I'm taking this one as a little bit of a win, although they didn't get relegated. I predicted them to be in the relegation scrap. They always seem to have been in and around that relegation area when they've been in League One AFC Wimbledon. Uh, so I got that bit right, but they obviously didn't get relegated. They survived. They finished three places higher. Uh, they finished 19th. Uh, and then the next one, the last team that I predicted to get relegated in 21st, a real stinker. Accrington Stanley, I predicted to go down and, and finish 21st. Really, really didn't do my research on this one because they ended up finishing 10 places higher. Uh, they finished 11th in the end after I predicted them to, to finish 21st. And they were challenging for the playoffs as well. Don't forget, they were challenging for the playoffs. They, they always had a bit of a drop off uh, in terms of results. But Accrington Stanley fans, I won't worry because there's not many of them. I do apologise for getting that one wrong. Um, predicted you 21st, you finished 11th, so fair play to you for defying the odds. And a small club challenging for the playoffs is, is what we want to see in League One, so, so that's very good indeed. Let's have a look at the lower half of the table then. We've seen where I predicted the relegated teams. Let's have a look at 13th to 20th and who finished where. Okay, so just outside the relegation zone, I predicted my team, Northampton Town. Obviously got that one wrong. Uh, I was out by two places. They ended up finishing 22nd. I predicted them to finish 20th. I think all Cobblers fans would have snapped your hand off to finish 20th at the start of the season to just survive by one place. Everybody would have taken that. It didn't happen. We finished 22nd. We've got to accept it. We've got to move on. We've got to go into League Two. There's a lot more we can discuss in separate videos about what went wrong and, and, and why that happened. Uh, next up, in 19th, I predicted Swindon Town. Another one that I got wrong. Uh, they were four places below where I predicted them. They finished 23rd and got relegated with the Cobblers. So I'm quite happy. I kind of got most of the teams that were going to be in the relegation fight. AFC Wimbledon were, Rochdale were, Cobblers were, Swindon were. Uh, so I'm quite happy with that one. Um, and then Crew Alexandra were the next one. I predicted them to finish 18th. Um, I really underestimated Crew this season. You know, the, the way they play, bringing young players through, developing talent, playing the right way uh, under David Artel, although he is, you know, not our best friend. Uh, David Artel's crew ended up finishing six places higher than I predicted them. Uh, they finished 12th. So a mid-table season for crew, which again, you would take as an newly promoted side after me predicting them to finish 18th. Uh, next in 17th is our friends Plymouth Argyle. Uh, I'm very happy to say I got them wrong because they were actually worse than I predicted them. I, I, I had high hopes for Plymouth this season, uh, finish, putting them in 17th. They ended up finishing 18th. Most of their fans seemed to think that they could get in the playoffs, which was just completely ludicrous. Obviously, the Cobblers beat them at home as well, so they can't have been that good. Uh, but Plymouth Argyle, again, that's my best one so far. Just one place out. Uh, I predict them to finish 17th. They finished 18th, so I'm quite happy with that one. Uh, the next one I got a little bit wrong as well, and I kind of underestimated their, their circumstances at the time. Uh, 16th, I put Wigan. Um, I think I really underestimated kind of how bad their situation was. Obviously, they got relegated from the Championship points, deduction, administration, all of this kind of mess, loads of players leaving, complete overhauls at the club throughout the season as well. In the January window, they had kind of a, another big overhaul then. Um, but yeah, Wigan got that one completely wrong predicted them to finish 16th, thought they would kind of get out of the mess they're in, I think I said at the time. Uh, they didn't. Um, well, well, they kind of have now, which is fantastic to see, and they obviously stayed up uh, just by the skin of their teeth. I was four places out, predicted Wigan to finish 16th. They ended up 
finishing 20th. The next one, I think, is probably one of the worst predictions that I made, along with Accrington Stanley as well. Um, next one, in 15th, I predicted Lincoln City. Um, I kind of, again, underestimated them. Thought they were just going to be another kind of just average mid-table league one side. They weren't. They were top of the league at some point. You know, they obviously bottled promotion, bottled winning the championship um, and, and finishing the playoffs in the end in fifth place. But yeah, 10 places out again for Lincoln. Got that one completely wrong. I do apologise, Lincoln fans and my good friend Jake Tong as well. Uh, sorry about that one. Uh, and the next one in 14th, again, I was just one position out, so quite happy with this one, was the MK Dons. Um, I predicted them to finish 14th. They finished 13th. They've established themselves as a league one side again now. They'll be looking probably to push for play playoffs and promotion next season and then the last team in the lower half I predicted in 13th was Bristol Rovers um, got that one completely wrong obviously in the 2019-20 season they were challenging for the playoffs with Graham Coughlin who suddenly just left and went to Mac uh, Mansfield um, and then things just all went wrong for Rovers they had high, higher hopes at the start of the season with Ben Garner they then got Paul Tisdale in that didn't work they then got Joey Barton in that didn't work um, and hopefully Joey Barton can get them straight back out of league two uh, as soon as possible but I was 11 places wrong I predicted Bristol Rovers to finish 13th they ended up finishing bottom of the league one table so again that was the bit that was the biggest difference in terms of positions um, but I think Lincoln is, is probably the biggest one in terms of I've really really just got that one completely wrong Okay, moving into the top half of the table again. I got the teams kind of in the right sort of area, just in the wrong order mainly. Uh, if we look at 12th, I got this one very, very wrong actually. I put Blackpool, I thought again, just going to be another average mid table team. Neil Critchley, it's his first real full season uh, as professional manager. Obviously, he was the Liverpool in the 23s manager before uh, being given the job at Blackpool. Got that one a little bit wrong. Uh, predicted them to finish 12th. They ended up um, finishing much, much higher than that in the playoffs. Uh, they finished third. Uh, so I was in nine places out with Blackpool. So again, Blackpool fans, I apologise. You had a poor start to the season. It looked like then it was going to tail off and just kind of be a mid-table season, uh, like I predicted. Uh, and then you just skyrocketed towards the playoffs, which is fantastic for Blackpool. And, and we want to see them back in the Premier League at some point and maybe back in the Championship as well. Obviously, they've got to get to the Championship before they get to the Premier League. So I've got that all wrong. Uh, the next one, I got a little bit wrong. You could say it was a stinker. Um, I got Burton in 11th. They finished five positions lower than that they finished in 16th um, obviously you could say it was a stinker because the start they had to the season it looked like they were dead and buried and, and, and in league two by sort of November didn't it um, but Burton fantastic job uh, as it as much as it pains me to say it um, fantastic that Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has, has imagined uh, has managed to get them out of the situation that they were in but a fantastic winning run together um, and, and just got everything right at Burton didn't they and they managed to finish 16th and, and consolidate themselves in League One uh, the next one in 10th is another one uh, the first one that I've got right so far Gillingham I predicted them to finish 10th I thought their squad was good I thought it could challenge for the playoffs but I also said in the video that I didn't think it would be able to to quite get into that playoff place I thought I just thought that the teams above them were better and it proved over the season they were fantastic season for Gillingham a, a relatively small club in League One you wouldn't say they're a massive club uh, you wouldn't say they're, they're kind of a really small club they're kind of in, in the middle and, and that's about right for Gillingham and like I said I think the teams above them at the time were better than them the teams that finished above them in, 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 in reality were better than them uh, but still a very good season for Gillingham predict them to finish 10th they finished 10th very 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 happy with that one uh, Fleetwood Town is the next one I predicted to finish in 9th really poor season from Fleetwood they finished 15th after finishing in the playoffs uh, the season before on PPG um, they, I, I expect them to kind of not have quite a good a season with Joey Barton uh, but still have a, a very relatively good season and challenge for the playoffs they didn't do that they finished down in 15th and a very very poor season from Fleetwood standards obviously Joey Barton went um Simon Grayson I think is in charge up there now um so yeah got that one a little bit wrong another one I got wrong Doncaster Rovers again if the season would have ended in February you would have said that this was bang on uh, I predicted them to finish eighth and they really just fell off a cliff Doncaster in terms of their form um, really went really really went downhill and they finished 14th in the end um, just a very very poor end to the season for them cost them their playoff place uh, another one that was fairly close Ipswich Town I predicted them to finish seventh in the playoffs um, they didn't they finished down in ninth just two positions off for that one uh, Hull City got this one a little bit wrong um, thought that sorry this is the playoffs now uh, thought they would finish in sixth they obviously went on to win the league fair play to Hull they were much better than everybody else again kind of underestimated them a little bit I thought their championship situation and their ownership situation was a lot worse than it actually was I mean I think after the restart because they, they played again in the championship last year I don't think they won a game after the restart so uh, just the way they came down I just didn't think they'd be able to bounce straight back up but they have fair play to Hull uh, went and won the league so, so good on them uh, next is Oxford I predicted them to finish in fifth I thought yeah they'll just 
come straight back into the playoffs again, and they have. Um, they didn't finish fifth. They did only finish uh, one place lower than that. They finished sixth. Um, so they are obviously in the playoffs. They'll play against Blackpool, I think, uh, in, in the playoffs. But happy with that. I thought Oxford were finishing the playoffs. They have finished in the playoffs and I was only one position off. Uh, the next one, Charlton. Got that one a little bit wrong. Uh, they finished, uh, I predicted them to finish in fourth. They ended up finishing seventh, so just outside the playoffs in the end for the Addicts. I'm sure they'll be back up there again next season. Um, obviously, I won't be doing a League One prediction next season because Cobblers are going to be in League Two, so that's a difficult one for me. But yeah, Charlton, uh, three positions off for them. Um, and then the next one is Portsmouth. Got them a little bit wrong as well. They kind of started okay. They were top of the league at one point. Uh, and then again, like Doncaster, I mentioned earlier, they just really tailed off. They obviously lost 4-1 to the Cobblers. That was a big downfall uh, and a big kind of dent in their season as well. Um, so yeah, five positions out I was with Portsmouth. They ended up, I predicted them to finish third. They ended up finishing eighth outside the playoffs. And then this one, I really, really, I, I, I hate it. The fact that I've got two positions right in the whole table. Gillingham I've got right. Fair play. Happy with that one. The next one. Peterborough United, I predicted them to finish second. Obviously, the Cobblers arch rivals predicted them to finish second. They finished second. They got promoted. So really, really not happy about that one. We'll just draw a line there. We won't see them for a few years now. Well, we probably will because they'll get relegated straight back to League One again from the Championship. So not too bothered about that one. And then Sunderland, I predicted to win the league. I just thought they've been in League One for far too long now. This is going to be their fourth season if they don't win the playoffs. Uh, I predict them to finish third. They finished fourth in the end, so three positions out on that one. Um, but hopefully Sunderland do, do get back up into the championship because they shouldn't even be in the championship they should be in the premier league playing against the likes of their rivals newcastle playing the top six as well their, their stadium as well just everything about sunderland screams premier league and they need to get back there as soon as possible so there you have it and that's how my league one predictions went feeling okay about that one there was a couple that I got kind of in the right areas. Obviously got two of them right, Peterborough and Gillingham. Uh, there were a couple, like I said, that I got in the right areas. A couple of them that were a little bit off. Um, obviously the Lincoln was a massive stinker. Accrington was a huge stinker. Blackpool as well, got that one a little bit wrong. Bristol Rovers as well. They're probably the four or five that I got wrong. Everybody else I kind of got in the right area around promotion, playoffs, relegation, mid-table. So I was fairly happy with that. Again, like I said, a couple of them I got wrong. I'll hold my hands up. I got them wrong. Should have researched more in the video. I'm definitely going to do that kind of research uh, for my League 2 predictions last year. It's annoying because cobblers keep going League 1, League 2, League 1, League 2, League 1, League 2. Um, and I know nothing about the leagues when we go back into League 1 and then now we're back in League 2. I know nothing about League 2 again, whereas I feel like if we'd have been in League 2 this season, I could have probably predicted the table quite easily. So it's a difficult one as a Cobblers fan because it's uh, you kind of just, I'll, I'll now forget about League 1. I won't follow it next season. I'm obviously going to be following League 2. And if we then come back into League 1, it's going to be harder to make another predictions video. So all swings and roundabouts, but who cares? It's just a bit of fun. Um, like I said, happy to get some of them in the right places and, and kind of in the right areas. That's going to be all from me in this video. If you've enjoyed it, please smash a like button and that would be awesome. Thank you very much to our Patreon supporters as well. Adam Page, Jason Rodhouse, Mike Fuller, Luke NCFC, you're all absolute legends. If you want to support us on Patreon and get your own very own Cobblers Vlogs mug, you might want one of them. Uh, go and have a look at the link in the description. Um, you can sign up from just £2 a month um, and get yourself involved in Patreon. Don't forget Fan Hub as well. Head over to the App Store, download the Fan Hub app. Uh, we're going to be rewarding fans for your loyalty. Um, you can build up fan shares on the Fan Hub app, which eventually are going to be able to be exchanged for cash uh, that you can kind of spend on a match day for tickets, petrol, you know beer, whatever you want to spend it on on a match day, you can use your fan shares to do that. So get, get over to the Fan Hub app, get it downloaded. Uh, that would be awesome. Like I said, smash the like button, hit subscribe as well. Uh, loads more postseason content coming your way, so uh, don't miss a thing. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.